Welcome to Sage Business Cloud Payroll's How to Process an Annual Bonus video. Navigate to Payroll and select Payslip. Click on the plus icon and locate and select the Annual Bonus line from the list. You can select either Manual Bonus, where you can enter an amount, or a 13th check, where the bonus is equal to the basic salary. Processing the Manual Bonus. Click on Manual Bonus, enter the value of the bonus or the estimated amount. Click on the drop down to select the period that the annual bonus will need to be paid. If it is to be paid in the current period, you can select the current month. You can select to make provision for the tax on the annual bonus. Selecting no provision will tax the bonus in its entirety in the period the bonus will be paid. By selecting create a provision until the bonus is paid, the system will calculate the remaining periods left before the date is reached. It will then take the bonus estimate value and divide it by the periods calculated. This amount will then be added to the remaining month's tax calculation, so the employee will pay a larger amount of tax in the provisional periods, but there won't be an extreme tax spike in the period that the bonus is paid. The same calculation will apply if you select to make provision until the end of the tax year. The only difference is the calculation of the periods will be done from the current period until February. Select the option for provision, then click on OK to save a payslip. You will see that an annual bonus line will now show on the payslip and unless the bonus is for the current period, will be a zero until you enter the period that the bonus will be paid. If you did select to make a provision, you will see that the tax amount in the months leading up to the bonus payment will be a bit higher. Once you are in the period that the bonus will need to be paid, you will see that the bonus amount will now show with a value and depending on the provision that you have set up, the pays you earn will either be higher than normal or equal to the pays you earn in the preceding periods. How to process your 13th check. Instead of selecting manual bonus, you will select 13th check. You won't enter an amount as the amount will be equal to the basic but you will need to select the month the bonus will be paid from the drop-down. You would also need to click on the drop-down and select a provision. Provision will work in the same principle than explained previously. Once a selection has been done, you can click on OK. Similar to the manual bonus, the annual bonus line item will show as a zero and it will only activate in the period that the bonus is set to be paid out. What happens if the amount of the bonus has changed? On the payslip screen, click on the annual bonus line. On the right hand side, the summary of the processing will appear. Click on the summary. More details will appear. Click on the bonus value block and enter the new amount. Any provision will recalculate to accommodate for this change. Click on OK and then click on back to the payslip. How can I remove the bonus? This example will show you how to remove a bonus that had a provision and how it will affect the pay as you earn. 
On the payslip screen, click on the annual bonus line. On the right hand side, the summary will appear. Click on the summary. More details will appear. Click on the I do not want to pay this value anymore checkbox. Then click on OK. The annual bonus line will now show as a zero and as there was provision made on the bonus, the tax amount will be a negative. It is normal that the payers you earn will be significantly less or even a negative after the cancellation of the provision bonus. Take note of our final notes. If you need more details, feel free to attend our free Sage University training. The link can be found in our description box. Thank you for watching our video. Reach out to us on our self-help platforms.